Hey guys, welcome to Safi Max. In this video, I will talk about the uses of do loop. Do loop is an important gradient of programming in every computational software, particularly in numerical simulations. Here I will discuss some uses of do loops in Mathematica. So let's see how can we do this. If you write do into the help of Mathematica, you will be welcomed with this screen. We see here the argument of do command takes two elements. The first one is an expression and the second one is an iterator. That is the do command will evaluate the expression n times. You can also add the iterator in the form of a list like in this case. Here the iterator i starting from a minimum value of i and run up to a maximum value of i sub max. That is the do loop will evaluate the expression for this uh, number of value for this number of iterations. There are other options for for example you can start from a minimum to a maximum or you can change the value of the iterator and step of step size di. Nevertheless let's use the do command and solve some examples of our own. So here this is a very simple example. I use an expression i square and ask Mathematica to change the value of i square for a list of values of i will start from 1 and run to a maximum of 5. If I run this part of the program, the Mathematica will evaluate the values of uh, i square and will print them in the form of this. Now these are the values of i square for example for i equal to 2 we have 4, for i equal to 3 we have 9 and so on. We can use any sort of function at the first position inside the argument of do loop. For example, I can use an exponential function like this and can iterate this for different values of parameter a. Here I list the values of parameter a starting from 1 and writing to 4. Uh, and I am writing the exponential function inside the argument of print command so that Mathematica could print the values for every value of the iterator a. If I run, I get the values of the exponent for different choices of a. Exponent minus x, minus 2x, minus 3x and minus 4x. Okay, now let us move to a little tricky example. I want to find the factorial of numbers by using the do command. Here, I ask Mathematica to, multif to multiply the value of t with iterator h which I am putting over here and I am choosing the values of the iterator starting from 1 running to 6. Here this part will update the value of t as per the level of iteration. I am starting for t is equal to, from t is equal to 1. And you will see when h is equal to 1, we will get t is equal to 1, h is equal to 2, we will get t is equal to 2, and so on. And when h is equal to 3, then 2 times 3 would make it 6. Okay, in this form of the program, the do loop will show me the final value of t, which I ask Mathematica at this position to show me the value of t. If I run this part of the program, I will get 720 because the factorial of 6 is equal to 720. And if you are not sure about it, let me put 4 over here because we know the factorial of 4 is 24. So it gave me 24. Now let us elaborate what this example and watch it in a little different way. I rewrite the same program for finding the pictorial of numbers but with different notation instead of t I'm using m over here and I am multiplying m with n which will update the value of n for every iteration with respect to m. However, I add at this position an optional argument to the uh, argument of t which I separate from the first condition from this one with a semicolon. 
and I asked Mathematica to print the value of n, and here I put a comment which would write factorial equals, and then I asked Mathematica to write the value of m for every level as well. And I iterated for seven values of number n. If I run this part of the program, okay, now it is a little more clearly written. One factorial equals one, two factorial equals two, and so on. And we see that four factorial equals 10 to four, and seven factorial equals 5,040. We can further play with this program to write things in another way. And I want to put these values of the output of do loop in the form of a list. So I just want to first clear all the values through this command clear global. That means this, this command clear all the values previously assigned to any uh, variable. And I rewrite the same program, but before that, I create an empty list which I assign to list one. And then this is again the same part. And in the optional part of the argument, I add another command, append to. That is, I ask Mathematica to append the values of u at every step of iteration to the blank list less one which I have created at this position and then I ask Mathematica to show me the list again I'm taking the values of iterator from one to six if I run this part of the program now I'll get the values in the form of list these are the same values as I obtained at this position up to six and similarly if I change the iterator from six to 7 and rerun this program, I'll now get exactly the values that we have produced in this part of the program over, over here. So now I have 7 values in the list. So this way you can use do loop to do very important things during your programming. At the end, I would remind you if you haven't subscribed Safi Mix so far, kindly press the subscribe button to support the channel through your valuable subscription. Thanks for watching.